Patrick, he made that request to state officials today, and tonight there is no agreement on the potential impact, leaving voters with a lot of questions as we look ahead to the primary in two weeks. In West Dallas, signs of street closures and directing traffic. Early voting. Voters here still showing up for the city's second day of drive through voting. Vote by mail would be a, a great option at this point. Let's not postpone it. We're already in the midst of this thing. Let's just get this election done and over with. Exactly two weeks until Election Day. In Milwaukee, in-person voting has shut down. The county's Democratic Party headquarters dark. Yard signs stuck inside a true sign of unprecedented times. My goal is not to disenfranchise a single voter. In a letter Tuesday, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett asked the state to forgo in-person voting and conduct the election by mail only, citing public health concerns if poll workers and voters showed up. I don't think it would be wise for them to do that. I don't think it would be healthy for them to do that. And, and I cannot, in good conscience, ask them to do that. State Senator Lena Taylor is Barrett's mayoral challenger and is critical of the decision to shut down in-person voting and the request. When you uh, require just mail-in ballots, what we have found across the nation is that it has disenfranchised, in particular, minority voters, in particular, black voters, in particular, individuals who happen to be on the north side of town, which are also dealing with many of the issues that we're talking about related to CV-19. Matt, has the state indicated what's next? No, the governor says he is talking with state and local election officials. We are expecting to hear from Republican leaders tomorrow. We do know as of today, more than 554,000 absentee ballots have been requested across the state. 94,000 of those, Patrick, from right here in Milwaukee County.